hello 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 and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well and really taking care of yourself i bless you all and i'm so much in gratitude and thankful for you to be here a part of this journey with me and viewing my um content that i put out here it's for you and thank you so much for your love and support i am truly truly grateful for you guys so this is going to be a pick a card reading okay for you guys i finally decided to use the new deck that i've purchased which is uh, a night the nightmare before christmas i think why not so i'm shuffling these cards here we are going to do a pick a card for any event that you have missed out on okay like any future thing what is coming your way and you're not really paying close attention to that all right could be anything could be you know in terms of career in terms of love could be in terms of anything and you're not looking at the bigger picture so we'll pick a card and see what is the bigger picture that is coming your way i'm sorry about the lighting but that's how it is okay if this helps all right so immediately just gravitate towards you know one two and three whatever you think is calling out to you if we need more cards to clarify obviously we are going to be doing that okay uh i'll try to minimize that to a smaller reading like a one card reading but why not so this is card number one card number two card number three take a deep breath meditate if you want i'm going to put the charms here amethyst clear cords black tourmaline if this helps you should i put some more cards i'll do that okay so it's very simple uh whenever this pick a card you can always you know if you gravitate towards more than one uh pick a card or what more than one stone you can go ahead with that or you can uh, just take a deep breath and pick the one that instantly attracts you and instantly you feel intuitively inclined towards that do not just pick one because you want to finish the reading and get over it okay do that unless you are attracted towards those cards if you feel a certain sort of attraction then go to that close your eyes take a deep breath okay and then pick a card so i'm putting some more cards right here and as requested i'm shuffling all my cards in front of you guys so that you know that all these cards are shuffled on okay All right, so I'm going to keep card number 2 and card number 3 here without any further ado. Let's start with pile number 1. All right, hello pile number 1. If this is what you've gravitated towards, then this is your uh, your reading. If you've picked this beautiful amethyst stone, amethyst is a very very beautiful stone. I mean it's it's historically known stone. It's so pretty. if you have been going through a lot of migraines recently uh you can meditate uh, if you, if you are into crystals then this stone will help you you know just uh keep your hand and meditate on that this is a very calming stone it helps with calming effect maybe a lot of you who've gravitated here there's some sort of chaos going on in your life at this point in time it's a possibility and you are waiting for you know some sort of karma waters okay and um, if you're going through migraine just take rest okay i don't know why i caught this a lot of people could be going through anxiety migraine some anxious something that is not really causing anxiety anxiety per se but you're anxious about something okay that's the message that i'm channeling from our spirit guides and uh, what's the big event that you're missing out on let's check that that you're not looking at oh my god the tower card beautiful 16 so 6 plus 1 is 7 that could be significant number now the tower is you know this card if i just take it whole as this one card it calls upon some sort of awakening 
possibly it's a very rude awakening also because like just imagine that you are you know sleeping and you are going through a nightmare or a dream and all of a sudden you fall off from your bed metaphorically speaking so it's that kind of situation there is some sort of awakening that's happened in your life okay i think maybe for some it could be in relationship for some it could be in career or it could be in any event take how it resonates it's a general reading you guys but you know i think there is someone there is someone that you are trying to um uh, sideline in your life and this person has been a very important person i'm channeling so this could not be for everyone this person has been a very important person in your life and um you kind of have like you want the person in your life and you do not want the person in your life for some of you okay so you're not letting that person go also and neither are you wanting this person to be in your life so that's like a rude awakening that you've got that hey what am i doing okay for some it could be literally for some of you um you're going to rise like phoenix up from ashes because suddenly you've got an epiphany that you know that this is something that i was working on which was not really serving me right or this is a person that i was trying to pursue was really not giving me you know two cents or like two f's and now i've got this awakening that i am going after situations and people that were really not meant for me now i need to go after situations and people and things that is my tribe that is meant for me so there's a lot that i can talk about uh, with this tower card okay but there is definitely some sort of awakening some sort of epiphany happening in your life some sort of you know kick up in the ass where you there's some sort of realization 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 is the word that i've got right now from spirit guys thank you spirit there's some sort of realization that's happened in your life so what is that realization go into introspect and try to understand what is that realization that has happened in your life and that can really help you to look at the bigger picture okay pile number 1 and the angel's message here is listen to your intuitive feelings there <laughs> you are receiving accurate messages from the divine you're just not listening you're not listening whatever is the situation whatever is whoever is this person whatever is this event there's a bigger picture that you're not listening at maybe you're keeping your ego in perspective keep your ego at bay keep you like so what if this person is behaving like this no sometimes you got to be the bigger person and go and reach out is the message that i'm getting maybe you got to really listen to your intuitions and be the bigger person and go and reach out pile number 1 okay see divine healing a lot of you do need to work on your heart chakra you're blocking your heart chakra a lot honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others so not only you but your light can support others and many a times what happens is because we do not want to be hurt due to past experiences we block we put a wall on our heart because we want to block those hurt and that pain that has caused us to our past experiences but that block is also in receiving love so work on your heart chakra pile number 1 okay if you've enjoyed this pre uh, reading please like share subscribe claim it below and hit the notification icon it's absolutely free someone else can reach to my reading thank you for supporting me i love you till i meet again goodbye All right pile number 2 if you have picked this clear cards maybe you're looking for some sort of clarity in your life uh I'm channeling message here even before I can see the cards so I feel that a lot of you are looking for clarity some sort of clarity maybe some sort of indecisiveness some sort of decisions not made let's see what it is so the tarot so the bigger event is what you're not looking at what is it that you're not looking at oh my god see you are in two roads two of presents which is also two of pentacles maybe a lot of you are doing a balancing act like maybe in between a business and um and a job or you are thinking of doing a balancing act in between a business or a job or in between a mistress or a wife you know just put it across or maybe two relationships so you're sailing your 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 feet are in two boats okay What happens is maybe you think you're multitasking beautifully but you're not looking at that when you're picking up 
say there are two things over here with me okay so when i'm picking this up i'm losing my focus on this and i'm only focusing here okay so yes i'm not saying that you cannot multitask you can multitask because people who've connected here are very intelligent and uh, you know you are very creative that's what i i get 10 10 hit so 10 could be like a synchronicity number what I'm seeing is, you know, maybe you want to complete the task at hand first before you put your foot in the other boat. Maybe you want to break up before you go to the next relationship. You know what I mean? So, yes, it's not that you cannot do business and work together. You can, but you got to master that one product first before you start with the second business. Otherwise, you will be of nowhere. Okay, that's the message that I'm getting for you guys okay and the so you're not looking at this bigger picture here you're you, you're just in that whole process of multitasking and you could screw up okay that's the message that i'm getting so just try to balance it well try to fixate and focus and master the art of one while you slowly transform into the second one and the angels messages books your life purpose involves could be writing reading editing or selling spirituality based books or maybe books have the answer or maybe you got to do a little bit of research before you get into the second job or the business or the option that you're looking at okay and the message from spirit guys is heart awakening lady nada awaken to acceptance and divine love give and receive love in balance look at this so you are definitely losing balance the biggest news here for you that you're not looking at is maintaining the balance okay Pile number two, if this is your reading, please like, share, claim this reading or you can always gravitate to one or three. Um, if this is not what is meant for you, if it, this does not resonate with you, try another uh, pile, one or three. And uh, comment below and do sp keep spreading your love till we meet again. Goodbye. All right, pile number three. If you've picked this black tourmalin, I think there's Mercury retrograde is really affecting you guys. It's a possibility. Uh, it's a possibility that, you know, you may be facing some issues with your technology. Maybe, you know, your phone's like acting like a bee or your laptop is screwing or like it's just giving you migraine of some sort. Okay, that's a possibility. Also, some of you are feeling very blocked. So you got to get rid of the roadblocks. I'm feeling like that for some of you. That's the message that I'm getting. I'm just channeling you guys. Okay. If it resonates with you, great. If it does not resonate with you, please go and pick the pile number one or two, which was previously done. Okay. So from tarot, what is the bigger event that you're not ch checking? Oh my God. You've got the death card. Great. Do not be afraid. It is not a horrible card. In fact, it's a card of utmost intelligence. It talks about that you gotta let go something is naturally ending in your life like there's a natural process like how a human dies similarly there is a possibility of a relationship dying there's a possibility of some job that was not serving you right dying there's a possibility of some relationship could be with anybody not just romantic relationship could be of you know a friendship could be of a career like a colleague or something you gotta like dig the grave and leave it be and let go because if you have not accepting the process of letting go and accepting the process that this has caused me pain this has caused me hurt you will never be able to move on in fact you'll never be able to let go right so the death card here is a very beautiful card it, it it's not talking about digging your own grave it happens when you are not looking at the bigger pictures when you're digging your own grave but you need to you know sometimes lay some things in rest like rest in peace like a relationship should rest in peace which is not really healthy for you a job or a career or a decision making stability should rest in peace which is not healthy for you because only once you let it you accept it you'll be in the process of letting go you will transform there will be a new life waiting a new job waiting a new relationship waiting it could be a new relationship with yourself right so you got to accept the changes that's happening in your life. It's like a butterfly. We are into metamorphosis situation. We are transforming, right? And look at this beautiful moon. I think a lot of you are going through some emotional upheaval at this point in time. You got to work on your emotions. You got to really take care of your mental and your cerebral health. You got to take care of your emotional health. I'm getting that a lot. Spirit guides, thank you for giving me that message. 
I see some of you could be you know, religiously uh, acclaimed. That's why there's a lot of crosses, but you got to let go. Okay, you, there's a huge message that I'm getting for a lot of you. You're not looking at the bigger picture. There is something standing behind this door. You got to open this door. You're not opening this door of this graveyard and walking out. You're still in the graveyard. You're still mourning over the death. Accept it, move on, let it go is the message that I'm getting for you guys because you're going to be rising like phoenix from ashes, okay? This, what are these messages from angels? Angels are saying some of you really need to let go of this unhealthy diet. Maybe that is the message. You got to get vegetarian or vegan. So I'm not, it's a choice. It's a choice, but maybe health is something that you were really facing an issue with. So you got to let go of addictions and all of that. You got to start eating fresh food, organic food. Even I need to take care of this. You need to elevate your spiritual frequency, you guys. You got to get add a little bit of greens and veggies in your life so let go of this addiction maybe okay that's also a reminder for some of you and we have voice of truth joan of arc it's a beautiful movie as well and you know uh, these flowers lilies and all of these could be like resonating with some stand strong okay you gotta stand strong focus on your purpose your purpose is behind the door like i said it's not here it's behind that door waiting for you so release the fear of, uh, you know, persecution and speak your truth. Like, go get that. Go get that. Go. It, it's like at your reach. You're just not going. You're still mourning over the death of something that was supposed to be long gone. Okay? Metaphorically speaking. All right? So I have this for you, pile number three. If this resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit a notification uh, bell icon so somebody else can reach through this reading. And if it does not, go to your pile number one and two and check if there's a message for you. Comment and claim this reading. I love you all. Till we meet again. Goodbye.